Whoa, this is funky. This is funky. <laughs> Well, that's not going to work. All right, I checked my EMS panel. All these units should be running for cooling, and there ain't no way that's going to work. All right, this is for the young techs out there. I got four units here. I am not going to start going crazy and jumping back and forth. Let's assess the big picture of what's going on here and go on from there. So it looks like we got one, two, three running. Three running and one knot. That's a probably a bad condenser fan motor. It may be on a pressure switch. It kind of got me there. Uh, another blanketed coil. Blanketed coil. Let's see if we can get back here. Try to get through here without getting killed. Another blanketed coil. Uh, another blanketed coil. So. Let's start killing power so got a little quiet here so every coil is impacted these are all micro channel york units every coil is impacted and the front run is, the front unit isn't running at all but the other three seem to be running they're just running probably extremely high head due to the impaction of the cond condenser coils so like i was saying for you young techs don't start going crazy running. We know we got three out the four running. Everything's impacted. So what we're going to do is start fucking cleaning. Let's get every condenser coil clean because it makes no sense to be troubleshooting. And we know we're not going to get what we're supposed to get because everything's impacted. So let me get my hose and all my good stuff out here and start cleaning. All right, I got my hose set up. Pretty much... We're going to hit this with the water. They make coil cleaners for micro channels. I have not yet really exp um, experimented with them yet. I would use it if it was like a grease application. Just saying this unit was on the roof next to an exhaust fan next to a restaurant and it was grease. I would go ahead and use micro channel condenser coil cleaner. But with this stuff here. That's pretty much what we got going on. So I'm going to hit them with the water, back flush them. They have a coil panel here. We'll go ahead and back flush them and hit them with the water, get them all cleaned, and then we'll go ahead and start up and start troubleshooting. I'll do another little clip of how it looks when I'm done. As you see, it's coming off like a blanket, which is not a bad thing because this could probably have saved us. The fact that it was blanketed the way it is, hopefully the micro channels aren't completely plugged and this actually was like a fake ass filter, a filter of dirt, but pretty much the front side, they're not going to be absolutely perfect because there's a certain amount of time I get on some of these jobs with these um, chain stores, so we're going to go ahead and get it the best we can, but that's what it looks like when it's coming off. All right, we got everything cleaned up. 
Goddamn wild America back here, bro. Everything's cleaned up. Got those back there cleaned up. We're going to let these drip dry for a little minute. Take me a little five, ten minute break. You don't want to yank these back on because these things hold a lot of water. That one's almost emptied up, but they hold a lot of water. If you're in a situation where you're on the roof and you just clean these, don't throw the power right on right away. Let that shit drain out the coil because it'll almost be like the water will be an obstruction because the micro channels hold water. So get these cleaned up. I was opening panels when I started this as I was working my way from the back to the front. Loose belts, of course, the story of my life. So I'm going to go grab some belts out the truck, slap some belts on, and we're going to power everything back up and see what we're working with. All right, everything's running. Everything's clean. Out of the four units, we got one bad condenser fan motor. It's seized up. So I'm going to go ahead and quote this for replacement, but I'm going to show you what we do with this. So we can get this unit operating at 50% until they approve the quote for us to replace it. Of course, the camera is not picking up the RPMs. This is running at full speed. It is running a little bit high amps. I'm going to go ahead and quote this one as well. But we block this side off. Because if both the fans aren't running, it's doing this number. And it's not pulling the air across the coil. So you need to block off one side. Yeah, this one's seen better days. But all our units are operational. We got one unit running at 50%. I went ahead and did belts. We checked pressures, everything looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and quote this one out. But another one bites the dust. All right, finishing up my day. Gotta drop a thermostat. I already did one in that unit. I'm going to drop a thermostat in here. The EMS panel is blown apart. So the unit has no power. So we're going to put a thermostat in the return. Wire it into our control board. And we're going to get these people some cold air. So their customers stop complaining. And it'll actually be colder than it ever was for them. Because their EMS panel keeps the store at 75 degrees. I'm going to leave them at 70 fan in the on position so the blower continuously runs and I'll show you guys what it looked like when I'm done all right we got our thermostat wired in fan in the on position cool set for 70 degrees this is a two-stage cool unit both stages are running and that's pretty much what you got to do if you get a blown EMS panel um, we are not, we don't work on this chain of stores EMS company, EMS panels anymore. So this is what we were instructed to do with any EMS issues. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Y'all have a blessed one.